Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin testified before the Senate Banking Committee this morning. It's his first congressional testimony since he was sworn in back in February. And in his testimony today, he said the administration's goal continues to be to get growth to 3%. Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto is on the committee. She participated uh, in the hearing and she joins us now from Capitol Hill. Before we get to the hearing itself, let me ask you about what you have on the agenda this afternoon. All 100 senators invited to a closed door briefing by the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. What are you looking to hear from him uh, today? What would you like to hear from the Deputy Attorney General? Well, that's the point. We're, we want to find out what happened with the firing. We want to find out the particulars uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks, uh, what everybody's hearing. I, I will tell you this, though. Uh, I and many of my colleagues are, are happy that a uh, special prosecutor has been appointed and identified. I think that's what needs to happen. We need to move forward with an independent investigation and protect the integrity of that investigation, not just for the benefit of uh, us here in Congress so that we have all the information. The general public deserves to know what's going on. One last question on this point. Does it change how the congressional committees pursue their investigations, having Mr. Mueller in place now as a special counsel, as you see it? Not at all. I, I think both can go forward. One's on the criminal side. The other, uh, as you well know, on the Senate side, they're looking to uncover what happened um, and bring to light to the general public uh, the activity that was going on. So, yes, I think they could still move forward on the same track, and the investigation should go forward. Let me ask you a couple questions about the hearing today. Uh, the Treasury Secretary talked a bit about the White House's tax reform proposal, said there'll be more detail forthcoming. Are you satisfied with what you've heard thus far uh, in terms of what the contours of that tax proposal plan are? David, you said it. We heard a bit, and that's it. We, we heard that uh, they want to engage in economic policy, grow the economy. They want to engage in tax reform and regulation reform, and that was it. There was nothing else. There was, you know, and I was uh, disappointed. Uh, what I heard was somebody dancing around all the questions that were asked, and um, particularly not focused on what they were going to do to help working families in this country, what they were going to do to still protect uh, consumers, homeowners, seniors, service members uh, when they're engaging in rolling back Wall Street reform. You look at the role that Nevada played uh, in the housing crisis. I know that housing reform is a big issue uh, for you and for your constituents, and you asked the Treasury Secretary a bit about that uh, today. What did he have to say to you uh, in response to your questions about housing reform, federal housing reform? And not much, and, and I will tell you, I was the Attorney General for the eight, their eight years. We had the worst uh, foreclosure crisis in the country. Homeowners lost their homes. Their, uh, the protections that were in place were important in this country, and I didn't hear anything from uh, this Secretary, who absolutely engaged in some of this activity with One West uh, in Nevada about how they were going to continue to keep in, um, in uh, their uh, foresight uh, the protection for homeowners, protection for consumers. You know, uh, they've talked about wanting to do everything they can to engage in corporate tax breaks and roll back Wall Street reform to the benefit of the big banks and Wall Street, but nothing that I heard today was how we were going to fight and continue to help working families across this country, including those families in Nevada. You bring up the big banks. A few weeks back, some of my colleagues interviewed the President of the United States, asked him if he was considering breaking up the big banks. He said it was, in fact, something that he was uh, considering. This is something the Treasury Secretary was asked about today uh, by Senator Elizabeth Warren and, and others, and his answer was decidedly uh, different. What do you make of the disconnect there? Well, that's the problem. We have not seen any type of uh, concrete, consistent policy coming out of this administration. There's conflicting policies. And I think that is the frustration not only we have, but you see uh, it happening across the country with our economy, with our markets. There is no consistency. Uh, and we need some stable tax policy, and we need some stable uh, economic policy. We need to be having this conversation both in a bipartisan manner to really, if we want to engage and grow the economy in this country, everybody should be at the table. But we can't even get the administration to be consistent on this policy. Last question here. I just am curious about the level of dialogue between the Hill and the White House when it comes to economic issues. Stephen Mnuchin has been on the job now for about three, going on four uh, months. What's the quality of that dialogue four months in? Well, you saw it. You saw it today. It was on display for the public to see. Uh, it was the same, more of the same, just uh, making these uh, top-line uh, promises about growing the economy, engaging in tax reform, uh, engaging in regulatory reform that will benefit the country, but nothing in the weeds, no specifics on how they're going to do that. And when they are questioned, really, uh, and, and challenged on some of their um, inconsistency when it comes to these policies, they can't answer those questions.